Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Opi is one of those add-ons that you didn't know you needed until you saw how it worked. There are a lot of things that you can put on your action bars in World of Warcraft. So much so that it can get... messy. Opi can help you solve that as much as you allow it to. I like using it for special mounts, teleports, hunter and warlock pets, utility items, and other similar things that I want quick access to, but that I don't use frequently. What this add-on does is create radial action bars that you can bring up on command by a hotkey. Those radial action bars are called rings, and they look like these here. Pretty neat, right? You can assign any ability, toy, item, macro, mount, and more to these bars, even other opi rings. Anything else that can be put on your action bars can go here too, including stuff from your bags. So you can get pretty wild with it. When you first get started and open up the add-on settings, it can be a bit intimidating. We're going to ignore most of this though, as we don't need to get fiddly to make the custom rings that I use. Go straight to the custom rings tab here and follow along because that's where we're staying. The other tabs I've left at the default settings. Once you've clicked on the custom rings tab, you'll find two options a drop-down list with some pre-made rings, and the new ring button. I don't use any of the pre-mades myself, I prefer custom. So in this case, just click the new ring button. Make sure to select the empty ring option, and then name your ring whatever you want. I like to name these plainly by what's in them, and in this case, I want to make a new mount ring. I've got a handful of special mounts that I like to use from time to time, so I want to group those together. I'll just call this Special Mounts. Click the Add Ring button once you've named it, and then you'll next see this interface here to start adding things to it. We've got a couple options here before we add things though. First, on the drop down on the right, use this to choose what characters you want to use this ring. In my case, I want all characters because these are account-wide special mounts that I always want access to. You can limit this to just a single character, or even your class too, which is handy if you create something like mage portals or hunter pets for rings. Next, we've got the ring binding option. If this is a freestanding ring, meaning it's not a ring within a ring, choose what keybind you want for this. It can be anything you like. If you accidentally make the wrong keybind, you can just rebind over it, or you can unbind it with the right click. Just click and select what key you want. In my case, I'm leaving this unbound because I want to put this ring in another ring. That's called nesting. Now, let's start adding things to this ring. Click this little plus sign over on the left, and you'll be shown a list of everything you can add. It's quite extensive, which is really great that we have so many options here. In my case, I just want mounts. I know exactly what mounts I want to add, but it can be a bit of a pain if you have a ton of mounts like I do. Luckily, these lists are alphabetical. Double click on the icon of what you want to add to add it to your ring. Perhaps during adding things to your ring, you changed your mind or added something you didn't mean to. To delete it, Click over on the icon in the column on the left with what you've added. Then click the Delete Slice button on the bottom right. Things added to your rings are called slices. Now at this stage, if you're not creating ringception like me, you'd be done. You can hit close on your add-ons menu and then use your keybind to open your new ring. However, the ring I just made is not one I want separate. I want it to go within my utility ring that I already have made. So, to nest this into a different ring, go back into your custom rings tab and use the drop down to now pull up the ring you want to add it to. If you've not made another one yet and want to keep following along, do that now using the same ring creation process as we just did. 
Adding a new ring to another ring, called nesting, is super easy. Once you've made the ring you want to nest, in this case the special mounts ring we just made, click on the plus button to add a new slice just like before, and here you'll see in that list a opi rings option. This is why it's super important to name your rings simply, because you'll now see a list of your existing rings, both custom and pre-made. Just like before, double click the one you want. And now you can close out and use your keybind to open your ring. Inside this utility ring that I already had made, you can see my nested special mounts ring. It's a ring inside a ring for some ringception. Use your mouse to point the direction of what you want to select, and then use your mouse wheel to scroll through the options. Just click on the one you want, and you'll use it. One of the best parts about Opi is unless you tell it otherwise, it won't show things on your character that your character just can't use. For example, I have all of my mage portals and teleports on their own rings within my port's utility ring. Of course, I chose my mage only for the class option when making these rings, but it goes for any ability. This character doesn't have his engineering leveled, for example, and thus he cannot see the other wormhole toys besides the one he can use even though I do have those in that ring. Opai is smart. Another great example would be hunter pets and hunter pet utilities. I have those on a special ring as well, and thanks to setting it to hunter only, Opai won't show this on my non-hunters, and even if it did, it would just be an empty ring. I did this with warlock pets and warlock pet utility as well, which is really handy for pulling them out on the fly without cluttering my bars. Hopefully your creative juices are flowing now because the options are just endless, especially when you consider just how many things can go on your opi bars. To help give some more ideas, I've even got hearthstones, wormholes, teleport items, and other similar abilities all on their own rings within a greater port utility ring. Things like the calendar, or your mobile guild bank, or even profession utility like anvils and campfires can be great here too. What kind of rings have you made? I'd love to hear your ideas. Did you know I stream on Twitch now? I do everything from transmog to leveling to gold making, and I'm live five days a week to chat with, so come hang out! And there we have it! If you think I've missed information, or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.